Hello YouTubers and welcome to the Budget Stacker. Today we're going to be talking about silver rounds and how it's an inexpensive way to um, build the weight of your stack and uh, you know have, have a, something that's, that's probably a lower premium as you can get in this form of one ounce um, rounds. So um, yeah I definitely uh, busted the budget a little bit. I, I went for another shipment of uh, primarily silver rounds uh, kind of inspired by one particular one um, and the price was just you know great at the time uh, spot price is way down so I did bust the budget a little bit more uh, and went for some more silver rounds so we're going to talk about that uh, principle in general and then we're going to talk uh, or show you essentially what new I got to add to my silver round tubes so if you're interested stay tuned because here we go Alrighty then, here we are. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about silver rounds. Um, I've got uh, this um, shipment, um, pretty much all silver rounds uh, that I picked up on w when the spot price uh, was down. Um, went a little farther than that and I made one other purchase besides this. But I figured um, since the, the price was so down, um, the premiums were pretty good. Uh, it was time to really add to my silver round um, component of my stack. So, you know, I, I've been getting these every now and then. I uh, only like to get them when they're reasonable price. Sometimes that's when they're just coming out. Um, and you have all different kinds. Um, this one's from NASA. Um, I guess you can call it kind of a coin. To me, it was more of a, just a silver round. Um, so, you know, I pick these up particularly great if they come in the capsules already because it's a cost you don't have to do. Um, but, you know, these were these are, are generally uh, the best price you can get out there. Occasionally some si some type of silver round will um, gain some popularity or collectability and uh, they might get a little price here. Uh, but, you know, that's just an example one. Um, this is one. It's got a mint mark of HM. I'm not sure who that is. Um, and you can get some nice, you know, designs on these. This is a common one that uh, many uh, different mints are making designs of. Uh, the buffalo uh, with the um, you know, Indian uh, head on the other side, Indian, uh, you know, portrait on the other side. This particular one, uh, again, mint mark of HM. I didn't like that much because the edges were not stamped very well. Uh, you can't see in the capsule, but they kind of like bled over. They weren't really like just run through just a quick polish on the side uh, to take off the burrs. So it was kind of a poor quality one. Yeah, it's an ounce of silver. It was a very cheap price, but I mean, just a little extra step of just running it through something to take the burrs off. Um, even if it was double stamped there, I mean, you know, it's just, I don't know. It, it's not a real coin, but bullion wise, I wasn't too happy with that one. Um, other ones, um, I, yeah, that's another HM. That one's a little better shape though. Um, <clears throat> some of them are really cheap um, because I think they thought they would be selling uh, for fantastic prices. Bitcoin, um, not as um, illustrious as it was before. It's kind of a cool design on their coin. Um, and a little electronic pattern here with a mining electronic mining, uh, which takes place um, in the whole process of Bitcoin and other uh, cryptocurrencies. So you can get those for a good deal. Um, the case came with it, but it's a little bit of a rattler. Uh, someone said, yeah, you can get a small case. And yeah, that's true. But I, I just actually, I don't know. Uh, the case didn't come with this one. I, it's just the one I had. But these are just rounds. I, I know a lot of people don't even put um, you know, silver rounds into cases. I'll usually put the very first one I get into a you know case, and then if I get subsequent ones like this, uh, I'm, I'm gonna <clears throat> you know leave it essentially uh, out and just put it into a, a tube. I'll probably put in a little something to you know keep the or humidity level down. Uh, but some of them can be really nice deals. Some of them are are 
certain things that sell a little better. So at times they will be a little pricier. This one's was pretty reasonable. Um, you know, again, just a, a nice silver round, a uh, nice ounce of silver. Uh, some have become very popular, like this um, uh, theme here with the uh, Aztec calendar. Very intricate design on that for a silver round. Um, but it, it's become a, a pretty popular silver round to, to snap up. Others have nice themes uh, based on uh, U.S. coins. Um, you can probably find foreign coins as well or native to your country. Um, but this is, you know, that's a nice one here. I think that's um, <coughs> Mercury Dime uh, replica. Of course, in one ounce of silver. It's kind of nice. Uh, let's see, I got that one already. This is, yeah, this is another one here. I think that's the Morgan. I'm not positive, but you know, just plain silver. I should be wearing gloves, even though it's round. But um, some like the Sunshine Mint makes some really nice ones here, <coughs> and these can be worth um, a little bit because they do have actually a security feature, which is not bad. Uh, you need a special decoder. But if you look through the decoder, I think it says valid uh, when you're looking through these. There's some, just some micro, micro engraving that uh, can only be seen through that particular uh, viewer. So it's a good way to tell that it's, you know, from a good valid source, uh, one ounce of uh, nice silver. Uh, again, that's from the Sunshine Mint. <coughs> they actually provide the blanks to the U.S. Mint uh, as well. So good reputation for that mint uh, and sometimes these can be a little more uh, expensive I just bought a couple um, but they have a little more collectability I guess and, and occasionally you will find that in silver rounds so that's nice uh, you know good quality so I always like that and this is another replica you know, very nice nicely done so I, I kind of like that that gives you some nice um, subject matter even though it's a silver round really designed for bullion Oops, I'm doing that again. Um, you know, you've got um, you know, good designs that are recognizable. Don't want to pass them off as the real thing, obviously. In many cases, they're just too big uh, for that. But, um, yeah, really nice way to, to kind of get some interesting stuff in the silver rounds area. So, we got this package. <coughs> I took out my paperwork, but I haven't seen anything else yet. I think that is it. Okay, let's see what we got here. Let's move these guys aside. Okay, let's break out the old X-Acto. Someday I do have to get a cool knife like everyone else has on YouTube here. But for now, it's the X-Acto. Okay, so this is my new purchases. We'll get that out of the way. It's not too attractive to look at. Okay, <clears throat> this is the um, first time I've, I've ordered uh, from this uh, company. It's uh, JM Bullion. I, when I was uh, kind of first using online bullion dealers, I was um, kind of uh, checking around and looking at some videos to see like where were people buying stuff from. Saw a lot of Atmex, um, big um, <coughs> company of course. I did see JM Bullion occasionally as well and they're a very large bullion, online bullion dealer as well um, but I did find one where someone had a particular problem when they didn't get their gold and so I was kind of um, taken aback by some of the responses they reported that they had from the company uh, and I was a little worried to order from them but uh, I'm giving them a try with this order and so far so good packaging was nice and safe i use this uh hefty tape here on their flips but that's okay all right well i think i can get everything together there okay <coughs> now let's see what we have here <coughs> okay let me stop to get on some gloves just to be on the safe side Okay, we're back. Um, just wanted to get some gloves on, just to be on the safe side. I, I don't want to um, 
you know, have any issues um, where I end up getting uh, spotting that I, milk spotting that I, is caused by my fingerprint. So I just thought I'd put some on. Uh, just because, you know, I know some people have, uh, well, it's only silver round and uh, true is not a collectible. It's not a sovereign coin or anything like that. Um, but, you know, sometimes they do end up getting some uh, newismatic value. Engelhart uh, has rounds, um, some other uh, mints as well that, um, you know, get a little bit of a premium bump there when you sell them, um, you know, even just to private parties, just because it's, you know, more rare. And if it looks nice and clean still, you know, so much the better. More people are going to be attracted to it. So this is... Uh, like an Indian head design, full headdress, one ounce, not too bad. That was a really reasonable price on all these, um, you know, considering where the silver price had gone. Uh, this one I paid a little bit more for. Um, this is uh, Lady Godiva with her hair strategically placed, and she was riding through the town. Um, essentially without clothes on to uh, help the people of the town because her husband who ran the town was kind of a jerk and it's the only way he had agreed to do uh, something. I forget what it was for the town, but uh, really nice detail on the other side. So not bad for a, a silver round. So I'll add that to the collection. And again, I, I'm kind of goofy. I, you know, even though they're silver rounds, I'll put them in a in capsule encapsulated um, uh, container um, initially. Okay, this oop, this is an Indian head. Uh, oh, okay, I think I wasn't wearing rubber gloves, but okay. Uh, there's This is a buffalo design. This is one um, from a different mint than the HM mint that I saw before. And no ridges here, feels nice. One good design on the buffalo. That's cool, Indian head has pretty good design as well nice luster to the silver so nice uh, nice collection or nice addition to the silver round collection uh, let's see oh this is kind of a cool one this is one that was uh get out of there oh let me get the tongs here it's just easier to not mess with it all right, there we go. This one um, is commemorating the Apollo 11 landing. The eagle has landed of, you know, the first um, man on the moon. Men on the moon, I should say. And there we go. One full ounce. So that's kind of cool. Commemorative and different. So that's a good thing about silver rounds. Uh, you know, they can kind of come up with different designs and uh, it's not like a sovereign nation where it has to go through 20 committees and all that. So uh, they can do things kind of on the fly. A little tape on there. I don't like to get that, but it's messed with my gloves. Ah, yes, it is. And yeah, it's stuck on me. All right, okay. All right, here we go. Uh, this is another one here. And I'm not knowledgeable enough about coins at this point yet, but I think that's a St. Gauden style. Um, I don't know, you guys tell me. Uh, those of you who have been stacking a lot longer. But um, just another replica coin. Kind of cool. Oops. It's re re replicating the U.S. coin, so i got to flip it the other way. And a very nice eagle with a lot of feathers on the other side. So uh, it's kind of funny. They put all their flips in one. I know the SD Bullion, um, which is... Um, different firm of course um, they tend to use them all like put in different ones here and there so they must just have them set aside for these bullion coins okay and this one here <coughs> is a liberty bell okay not bad and on the other side liberty silver nice nice smoothness here not like the other one i was complaining about before and second to the last one, this one I've been looking at for a while. It's a nice um, 
beautiful Statue of Liberty one. So it's just a silver round, but it's nice to have a little variety in the designs of your silver rounds. So very cool. You might see some fingerprints of somebody who packaged it. I'll have to clean that off before I encapsulate it. Only because of the first one I've had of this. After I get additional ones, I'll just keep them in a, uh, a case, you know, like this. I've been putting these guys in here because I already have some of them. I'll save that one for the last. Okay, actually, yeah, we have two more left. This one here. This is... Oh, yeah, this is... What is that? Okay, Made in America, Liberty. It's got a very nice eagle on it in flight. Looks like he's got a very unusual flying pattern with his wings curved inward. Like he's about to hug America or something. I'm not sure <laughs> what that's supposed to signify. But that's cool. On the back, <clears throat> now this isn't Sunshine Mint. So it just has just a field here. I'm not sure if some um, some silver rounds do that. So like if somebody wanted to give a giveaway, they can put a sticker or some sort of thing on there, like happy anniversary or something like that, or Joe and Susan's wedding uh, in the year or something like that. I'm not sure why they do that, but I do see that every now and then on some rounds. So I thought it was cool. Picked it up. It was a really good price. Um, <coughs> And then the last one, which really got me started on this whole thing, uh, was from Salivate Metal. Great uh, YouTube channel. If you've never uh, checked it out, highly um, encourage that. He does, I think, sometimes, up to, a lot of times, up to two videos a day. And uh, he's got some really interesting ones. He goes over different news stories and just, you know, general things about stacking, collecting. Uh, I didn't know he had his own. I think I seen that. I saw that he had a round sometime on his table, but I didn't know I could ever buy one. Uh, but Jay and Bullion had it. I don't know if they had a license to it or if they got a shipment of them or if there was some deal that they made before, but they uh, have this silver round in honor of Salivate Metal. And it's a nice two ounce Chunky Monkey. Feels really great. And it's got his. Um, multitude of gratitude um, slogan there and the salivate nation really nicely done for a silver round uh, and it is to honor a very fine gentleman in the YouTube stacking community he's um, educated a lot of us and really helped uh, me to learn a lot more uh, about um, you know silver stacking and collecting uh, and uh, just you know very thankful for him and um, it's one of the main reasons I really decided to to take the plunge and try JM Bullion. Uh, so thanks to Salivate Metal for kind of uh, inspiring this um, purchase of additional um, silver rounds to help uh, add some weight at a pretty good uh, price right now. So um, do hope you enjoyed uh, kind of checking out um, some of my new silver rounds and just the general topic uh, about silver rounds and how that's good to add to your stack. Uh, please do give us a thumbs up if you can. It really does help on the algorithms and helps to kind of encourage us to continue um, making videos. So uh, thank you for watching. Hope you can subscribe as well and uh, just hope you have a great, awesome rest of the day evening, morning, whatever it is. God bless. Take care.